Hey, it's JB backstage in Mobile, Alabama. A familiar face came by. I wanted to say an honor. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Because I, I was work, I worked with you guys. Remember the first year when you first started? So, and I haven't seen you since then. No, but I, I see you. On, yeah, I see you on the tweets. I, I see you. Uh, I follow you on the Facebook. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But it's good to see you again. Good to see you, the great Percy Pringle, and uh, no stranger to this neck of the woods. Oh no, this is home. This is where I was born. This is where they're gonna bury my fat ass right here. <laughs> You're uh, this building specifically. Oh, uh, holds a lot of memories for you. Oh please, this is where I used to cut grass every week. When I was 14 years old, to buy a ticket, I'd come down here to watch Cowboy Bob Kelly, Ken Lucas, uh, the Rocket Flash Monroe, and on and on and on. And uh, yeah, it has a lot of special memories. I graduated high school in this building. My son graduated high school in this building. And some, uh, and since I've been in the business, some of my greatness, you know, this is where I love this place. A lot of things. Have I love this place. Yeah. I saw my first world championship match here. My first end up for the NWA championship in this building. It was Norfolk Jr. against Don Fargo. Wow, yeah. And as a wrestling historian, you know about Don Fargo. A little out there, right? They went an hour Broadway. And I was just on the edge of my seat the whole damn time. And there was just uh, so many memories. Yeah, and so uh, many great matchups here. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's an interesting part of the uh, part of the country right now and to be here. We, uh, we did a food drive. Uh, I heard about that. That's, that's fantastic. Well, it's, just, it's, a, it's really hit this area hard. It's horrible, man. And they, they, and they act like it's gone away. All of a sudden, it just disappeared. When they plugged the hole at the well up there last week, uh, the next day, it was gone. The Lord has... It's a miracle! It's gone! But right now, you go down to the beach, and there's oil all up down the beaches today. Today. But last week, it was gone. The hole's plugged. The hole's gone. Where did it go? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Anybody remember that earthquake in Haiti? A couple. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's really. It's so, the off, uh, next. What's the next thing people? Are doing? Folks around here just recovered from Katrina. You know, five years ago. I was gonna say they'll put their houses with them. Exactly. Parts still on. Exactly. Yeah. And then the old situation. All the people that, that make their living, yeah. the tourist industry, and notwithstanding the, the seafood business, it's hard. Yeah. It's really hard. But well, we're shooting this on uh, YouTube, and you're a Facebook guy. You, uh, you're yeah. on there. It's a great way to keep up with people, and uh, I'm sure you use that to still communicate with a, a lot of people that you've met over here. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, what, what changes? What, what did, I, I was thinking, what did we do back in the day when we didn't even have a pager or a cell phone or GPS? How did we find the damn building? Yeah. But we always did. did. Well, some of us did. <laughs> some of us didn't. Some of us still can't find the buildings. It's a whole different world with the GPS. We don't even need to think now. Exactly. You know? Wow. Uh, as far as this building goes specifically, teenagers here tonight, uh, obviously this building has housed a lot of wrestling over the years. Do you have just one standout that's, that's the crowning moment for you here at the Mobile, Mobile, Mobile Civic Center? In Mobile, if you will. Mobile, like if you Bullet will. Bob Armstrong used to say, in Mobile, if you will. Sure. Uh, the most outstanding memory would have to be, and, and excuse me for mentioning it, because it's a different company. Sure. Was the first time that I ever appeared in this building for WWE, then WWE. Yeah, I mean, I, sure. I finally made it after all the years. You know, I made it. The first time it was, uh, I believe it was Undertaker against the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, yeah. And uh, my parents on the front row, and my wife, and my kids, and my friends in the place, you know. And uh, as I walked by, my dad hit me on the shoulder and I turned around and said, I'm proud of you. This moment, probably in the business. Better than Madison Square Gardens, better than yeah. whatever. Something about Th This home. is home. Yeah. It's home is home. When you know about home. Absolutely. Wow. Great catching up with you. The oh, great it's a pleasure. Percy Pringle the third here on the TNA YouTube channel. And uh, great to catch up with you. You had seen McFoley in a while, too. I guess you guys got up. Oh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wrestlers heaven tonight. Yeah, but it's just like the minute you see it, it's like. That Jeff Jarrett, though, he's got old. Oh, wow. He looked old. Yeah, what's. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks good. Uh, all right, thanks for watching. Percy Pringle.